How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Spring and Summer Essentials episode 3. Today we're talking teas, so let's not waste any more time and let's jump right into the video. The scent of the day is Gypsy Water by Byredo. I just have a sample of it. I got a full bottle on the way, so I definitely will be reviewing that when it comes in. But we're, but we're here to talk t-shirts. Now, t-shirts are the king of a wardrobe. A true good wardrobe, a man has multiple, multiple t-shirts, different kinds, different colors, different cuts, different sizes. Like today, I'm rocking this t-shirt. as a little oversized, a little baggy. You throw this on with a black pair of jeans and a pair of Chelsea boots. I'm rocking it. But there's so many different kinds of t-shirts that I don't think a lot of men overlook. A t-shirt is the most valuable piece in your wardrobe. A t-shirt can make or break the difference of an outfit. You can wear a t-shirt to uh, dress your events. You can also wear it super, super casually. So there's multiple types I want to go over. So let's start off with the number one spot that I think you should consider buying for the spring and summer. And that is the sweater t-shirt. This one here by Reese that I am wearing is awesome. This is easy going yet elevated. It takes the classic notch and turns it up a little bit. And what I mean by that is it takes that t-shirt and it just elevates it and makes it a bit more sophisticated and it is truly an amazing piece to have in your wardrobe. Now these are expensive -er than most t-shirts but you can find some good prices on it. For example, this one by Reese that I rocked in the little B-roll. This is like $125 retail. You can find this on sale at Nordstrom for like 40 bucks right now. Reese has some good ones. If you're looking for kind of quality but affordability, I recommend going straight to John Hendrick's website. They sell amazing t-shirt sweaters. Those aren't 100% wool. Those will have kind of a cotton wool mixture and I love rocking wool year round. What wool does, it's a thermal regulator. It is natural. It is the natural tech wear of nature. It keeps you warm, it keeps you cool. It's moisture wicking, it doesn't smell, it's antimicrobial. It is just an amazing, amazing piece. And when you put it in a t-shirt, you can dress this up a little bit more, you can dress it down, you can wear it as a layering piece, and it is just a truly amazing piece for the spring and summer time. So at the number one spot, definitely consider getting yourself a sweater t-shirt or kind of a knitwear t-shirt, something that is a little more elevated. Classic t-shirt time, the basis of a man's wardrobe. I'm gonna show you the ones I'm gonna be rocking in the B-roll here. These are just amazing options, so let's get into it. So what I'm gonna do this season is invoke the season with your color. So I'm wearing a lot of yellow, teals, mauves, reds, floral tonals. When you have a floral tonal, you get those brighter colors, but it is also not just your average color. It is a earth tone because it is a floral tone and it just elevates it a little bit more. They're a little bit more unique and that's what I love about them. So the first t-shirt we're going to take a look at today is by John Elliott. This is on the expensive side of things. This yellow t-shirt by Ant. It is an anti-expo t-shirt. It has raw edges and I really love the way it rolls up. Definitely gives me more of a streetwear look, but I absolutely love it. Secondly, this Madewell tee is my really nice fitting tee when I want to you know show off the gains even though I'm in quarantine and I'm losing all of them. This is a great spring color that you can rock with blue jeans, black jeans, any colored shoes and it will look fantastic. It is almost orange, almost red. It's hard to explain the color but I absolutely love it. Next up we are going for the Robert Barraquette tee in the mauve color. Now this is going to be my t-shirt of the spring. I love this t-shirt. It is a perfect soft pink color without being too pink where it's not masculine and I absolutely love it and also the cheapest t-shirt on this list this one is by top man and this one is just a chill relaxing t-shirt and it is amazing it is about $12 on Nordstrom's website and for 12 bucks it is decent quality sure it's not gonna last you years but it is a decent quality t-shirt for the price you're paying for it just make sure you don't dry it and make sure you wash it in cold and it should last you a little bit longer and lastly this is my kind of casual oversized Burberry tee that I'm gonna be rocking all spring long I love this tee I love a good graphic on a t-shirt I like this because you get this beautiful powder baby blue with a red hit right in the middle. And no, it doesn't have to be Burberry. Just find a graphic that you truly love and enjoy and you can rock them casually all the darn 
time. If you're looking for high-end, John Elliott makes amazing t-shirts. They're spendy, but they're worth every penny. And at that mid-tier option, we have Robert Barquette. A little expensive, but the quality is there. That is going to be the best bang for your buck. And if you're going for a cheap option, Madewell, I recommend over Topman, but Topman makes decent ones too. Madewell, ah, about 16 to 24 dollars depending on when and where you get them versus those top man t-shirts 12 to 10 bucks i mean easy easy go to's also another key i think of the basic t-shirt is have different fits so as you can see today like i said i'm rocking kind of that oversized kind of slub look same with my normal t-shirts i have my classic fitting tee which is the barquette i've got my oversized kind of not oversized, but slub tee in the John Elliott. And then I have my true classic fitting tee in the Madewell, and then that chill, casual top man shirt. Get different fits to wear with different clothing items. Fit the mood with your fit of your shirt and just invoke the colors of the season in what you're wearing. Remember, floral tonos, they're still earth tones, but they're a little bit brighter and a little bit more fun. Next up on this list is the high neck tee, something that I recently discovered and I am in love with. I have four on the way, I love them so much. You know me, I'm a fan of the turtleneck sweater. The turtleneck sweater is the quintessential fall and winter piece for a man. I think it is sexy, sophisticated, you can dress it up, dress it down, just an amazing piece of clothing for the colder seasons. But this t-shirt takes that classiness, sophistication, and puts it on a t-shirt. It's gonna come up a little bit. Most people call it mock necks. I'm gonna call it a high neck tee for lack of better terminology. It is just an amazing piece. It elevates a t-shirt a little bit without making it dressy, and I truly, truly love it. Not only that, these for layering are exquisite. You throw that on, you throw a flannel on over it, you kind of get that turtleneck look, but it is a t-shirt and it's super, super comfy. I've only found one company that really does a good job on it and that is Son of a Tailor. And if you're willing to spend a little extra money, I recommend going for Son of a Tailor. They're custom fit and I love them. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, ASOS probably has a bunch of good options. It's just, again, that quality is going to dip below standard in my opinion. But the high neck tee, a truly an amazing piece for the spring and summer. Again, it's all about the color and the fit. Make sure it fits well. These, I think, shouldn't be a slub fit. I think these should fit your body really nice like it was tailored to your body and that's where son of a tailor comes in because they do tailor them for you exactly to your body and your specifications i love them i can't wait to get more in and rock them all season long honestly it's a year-round piece for layering in general but the high neck tee a truly an essential for the spring and summer time if you want a t-shirt that's elevated but not a sweater tee and lastly the t of t's the king of kings in the t-shirt game the white Tea. I just watched Mr. Little's last video. He went over wardrobe essentials. Go watch that if you haven't already. But the tea of teas are is the white tea. It is casual. It can be dressy. You can layer it. You can wear it on its own. It is just an amazing t-shirt. I personally don't like wearing a super fitted white tee. I feel like I'm just rocking an undershirt. Maybe that's because I'm like 5'6 and I can't really pull it off. That's not me. But for my white tees, I'm going for a slub fit look. So the one I'm wearing right here is by Rag and & Bone and I truly, truly love it. It's slub, it's not too baggy, it's not too tight. It is just an amazing casual piece that I can wear all the time. If you wanna go for kind of more cost effectiveness because those Rag & Bones are in that mid-tier 50 to $60 range, you can find them on Nordstrom Rack sometimes for about 34-ish bucks. Go to Costco, have someone use their Costco membership and get Kirkland t-shirts. I love them. They're great quality for the price. You get a three pack for I think like 20 bucks and they are awesome. And high, high end for white tees. Don't do it. Waste of your money in my opinion, because it's a white tee. Inevitably, it's going to get pit stains. Inevitably, you're going to get a stand on it and you're just going to hate yourself for spending a ton of money on a white t-shirt. So that's why I say stick to that mid tier, stick to that low tier rag and bone price and quality is there. You get the bang for the buck. Kirkland is another bang for the buck. Those will be a little more fitted and a little more dressy in my opinion, but I'm going for the slub look with the white tee.
t-shirts they're awesome i know you have some in your wardrobe and here's some more options if you want to shop around this fall and elevate your t-shirt game i know t-shirts are my favorite thing to wear you can show up the arms you can kind of just be casual and chill and i love them thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here consider subscribing if you like the video gives it a thumbs up share it to your friends if you think they need to know it or you know that guy who wears the t-shirt that like goes up to here it's just not a good look let them know send them my way i love you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace